for this topic, loads and load paths in buildings. Um, this is a fairly, um, I would say, basic course. Uh, new engineers, architects, code officials, if you're a mid-career engineer looking for a refresher, uh, we have updated the content to the 2021 building code, so hopefully you'll pick up some new material uh, here as we go through today. But So the load path is an interconnection of all the framing elements of both the lateral and vertical force resisting systems. And we're working to get those loads into the foundation. Connections are obviously a big part of that. And so we'll touch on all of those topics a little bit as we work through um, this content today. But uh, we'll, we'll look at uh, general load paths through light frame, concrete, shear walls, or steel frames. Uh, talk about bearing or connections to transfer loads to the load path. Differentiate between gravity uplift and, and lateral load paths. We'll be talking about loads, um, uh, load combinations. Um, so in the, in the area of loads, we're looking at gravity loads, lateral and vertical loads. And I make sure to distinguish between gravity and vertical loads because there are um, obviously some, some loads like wind, seismic, soil that can induce loads pretty much in any, any direction. And then we'll talk a little bit about uh, load combinations and the three different options available beginning in 2021 uh, for that. And then with the load path portion, that's a that's actually a, kind of a tough one to teach. There are thousands uh, of load paths, as you know. Um, and so that'll be very uh, much just looking at a lot of pictures, talking about general load path and some things to, to watch out for. So again, fairly, um, fairly uh, straightforward, basic concepts today, but uh, hopefully a little bit here for, for everyone. So the slides in front of you, uh, is another opportunity for you to chime in on which editions of the IBC and ASCE 7 that you're in. So if you can put that in the Q&A box, um, if you just put the version of the IBC, um, the year of the IBC, that will be sufficient for me because uh, that we know how that's mapped out to the rest of the, to the code. So there's 2018. ASCE 716, so 20, somebody with 9, 12, 15, and 18 must be working in multiple states. Understandable for that. Anyone else want to chime in? 2018 and ASCE 716. Okay. 12 to 18. And ASCE 705 to 16. So yeah, those are the experienced engineers that I recognize from above who have experience in all these different areas. So, okay, thanks. So we've got quite quite a mix. Uh, things have uh, moved around a little bit in the new code, and so we'll try and touch on that a little bit as we go along and. Um, try and uh, answer, leave some time for, for Q&A uh, at the two breakpoints. So we're looking at buildings today, um, not other structures. So the typical loads that you'll see in a building, uh, we'll have construction loads with people and materials, re-roofing, that type of thing. Uh, gravity loads like snow or rain, um, we'll have dead loads, live loads with people and furniture, soil loads acting laterally or um, in, in even uplift um, with depending on the hydrostatic pressure or types of soils that we encounter. Um, obviously wind and seismic loads are primarily going to act laterally, but we're going to get some vertical forces uh, with both wind and seismic loads as well. And so as we talk through these topics, we'll be looking at loads in all different directions. But we'll start first with our gravity loads. 
uh, obviously weight of construction materials, service equipment like plumbing stacks, heating, cooling systems. In the 21 uh, IBC, 2021 IBC, uh, there again, things have rearranged a little bit um, where the table 1607.1 uh, has uh, been rearranged to be a little cl more clear about where uh, when, what types of loads we're looking at here. So photo, p photovoltaic panels, vegetative and landscape roofs are relatively new loads, unless you, you know, are in California on the West Coast, you've probably been doing this for quite a while, but um, those are some of the newer dead loads that we're beginning to encounter. 